Okay. Now that we've gone over everything there is to learn and watched enough videos to make you want to puke, we've got a couple more and you'll be pretty fluent on working in and building stuff and creating content in SharePoint. So the most basic thing you can create in SharePoint is a sub-site or a site, and it, it follows the same process. <clears throat> so what you'll do is you'll go to the site that you want to build a site or a sub-site under, and you'll go up here to the gear symbol and you'll click on that. You'll scroll down to site contents, click that. And here's where, like I showed you before, where you can add an app. Well, we're gonna go down and you'll see subsites and I can create a new subsite. You'll see I've got a couple here already, but we're gonna make a new one. So you'll be shown, I mean, you know, creating a site is not as complicated as it sounds. There's no coding or anything involved. You don't need really any experience in anything except for a word processor. So you're going to see all these fields, and, and really all you need to do is fill them out, and you're good to go. So title and description, we're going to make an accounting site. And I'll leave the description blank. It's not really important at this time. And I'll put accounting into the URL. That's where you're going to tell people, hey, go to simplifiedsharepoint.com or simplifiedsharepoint.com.sharepoint.com accounting this whole URL is what will be the address you'll use to get to that site yours will be different than that mine's just overly complicated the template is what you can use to it's kind of a pre-built site it's exactly what it is it's a template so you can build all of any of these kind of things a search center a record center uh, anything I usually just use team site <laughs> that's it Permissions. We talked about those before. You can either set up and use the same permissions as the parent site, which would be my team site up here, my home site. So if anybody has access to that, they can get to this one, or I can use unique permissions. And it'll ask me about that on the next page. For this lesson, though, we're just going to use the same permissions. Navigation. Do we want to use the show it on the quick quick launch? This is the quick launch over here. That's what they refer to. I call it the side menu, but it will show it under subsites. And I'll say yes, and then display it on the top link bar, which is up here. So I want to do that as well. And then do we want to use the same top link bar from the parent site? So we can put it on the top link site, um, top link bar. And then on our sub site, do we want to use that same one? We could have a different one if we wanted to. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. I'll just say yes to all three of those and create. So you'll see up here it's working on it. It's going to build the site for us, and then it's going to take us straight to it. And here's our sub-site that we just created. You can see we've got the top link bar from the top site, my home page. I've got a link on the home page. Here we are. I can click on accounting and be taken to that site. So that's pretty much all how you, how you do it. Now, this is your getting started pane, and this is what a team site will look like. It'll have a news feed, a document library, and a OneNote notebook. Um, and then those will be included with whenever you create a team site. So it gives you options, share your site with people so you can add their permissions. It gives you an option to add a timeline and, and create some tasks like we talked about on the user profile tasks list. You can create a task list for the site or for a project or for anything that you know has to do with the site, the specific purpose of the site. You can add more apps, so lists, libraries. You can change the look of the page. So let's say we want to make the accounting page green for money. So we'll just, whenever you go there, uh, when you click on change the look, you've got a bunch of different options you can make your site look like. Well, I'm just going to click green because we want to do green for money. So we'll try that out. And then it's going to go and preview the whole site for you on the next page before you commit it. And the thing to remember is these changes only apply to the site that you're on. So I'm just going to say yes, keep it, because it's not a big deal. So now we've got a green site. Pretty cool, huh? Well, if I go back to my IT department, you'll see that it turns blue. So any changes you make to a site will only affect that site and possibly the sites underneath it. Um, you can add a logo to the site, like we saw on, um, on my Biff's accounting firm or agency, wherever it went. <laughs> I'll go here. Biff's consulting agency. doesn't work anymore. Okay, bad example. Um, you can add a logo to the site is all I'm trying to say. 
So that's that's pretty much what that lets you do. Here we go. Get back to accounting. You can add a logo, description. Um, I can insert a logo and put. I could put Biff's page on here since he he's the CEO. So then it'll put Biff's logo here on the site. Maybe you have a dollar sign or something you want to make for your accounting site. And then you can actually um, share email on the site and connect documents to Outlook. That's that's about it. You can always remove that. And then it'll tell you the getting started tasks are available from the settings menu at any time. So from here, you can go and you can go back to getting started and you can share your site with people and add permissions. So if I want to share this site with Charles, I'll put him on there and I'll give him full control over that. And I won't send him an email because he's a busy guy. I'll just tell him later on. So that's how easy it is to create a site. No coding required. Um, and, and really all you needed to do is have knowledge of a word processor and be able to type and use a mouse. So that's how easy it is. Hope that uh, cleared things up. And be sure to check out our other lessons. And other than that, have a good one.